watching me up. I'm just going to start on, I guess, shuffling until we get someone. Somebody watching? Okay. I brought some different decks today. So, yeah, we've got actually got three decks um, to see what we get. Okay, it shows that we got four watching. There was a feeling that um, there'll be something another in the somewhere in this reading about love. Um, I'm not sure if it's romantic though. Hello, thank you. Also, um, there's a uh, there was a, a strong feeling of strength. So that's why I put that in the um, in the um, title. Thank you. Oh, we have one fall out. Um, okay, we've got the Knight of Pentacles fall out. Now, this knight in the 70, 78 doors is actually holding a gift. So... I feel like that someone's going to be receiving a gift. Now, um, this doesn't have to be um, something you can put your hands on. This could be someone taking you for ice cream or buying you flowers or could be a gift, you know, as far as in a box and you unwrap it, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this could even be breakfast or... Uh, someone buying coffee or such. Oh, I know. I love flowers. Oh, thank you, Sasha. Yeah, flowers. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yes. Um, but this has got that feel that someone's coming towards someone. And they're going to give them something. So, you know... Even if it's something uh, small, it's something. It's that type of feeling. Because if you look now, I'm going to tell you though, this doesn't have to be love related. Because if you look, she looks like this could actually be an old friend. Um, this could be a love partner. Or this could be someone that has got that potential. Uh, so it, it could be just basically anyone. Um, this could even be someone, if you work somewhere, someone that works with you and they decide, hey, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take so-and-so a, a cup of coffee and a donut or, you know, bring you something back for lunch or such. Let's get another card and see. We got the full come out. Um, so, I feel like this is someone... That wants to open up a new door. If you look at that, he's got the key and he's trying to open a new door. So this does have the feel like this is someone new. If this is someone that you already know, they want to change something or they want to um, start something new. It's got something to do with something new. So if this is someone that you know, they're wanting to change something, start something new, do something new. Um, yeah, it's got that type of feeling. But, you know, the fool can take those leaps of faith, can can decide to take that journey. But if you look at his face, he looks a little bit timid to try to open this door. So this person may be a bit, hmm, you know, should I try to take things further? 
or should I actually try to open this doorway with this person? You know, um, and there's a feeling of, um, almost a feeling of intimidation. So I feel like uh, you may be rather strong in your, the way you put your energy out there. And this person may feel a little bit intimidated or um, a little bit like they don't know how to quite approach you. Um, it feels like this person's got themselves together. Um, but it's almost another feeling of, if you look, he's got his bag. You see the little bag on the end of the... Okay, it's as though this person is not really tied to anything. Does that make sense? So, um, if this is someone that's already in your life, they're ready to open something up new. They're ready to take something to the new, uh, new level. I've got to figure out why my camera is not, or my, give me just a second. This thing is not charging my phone. And that will not work. It's because I think you're recording. It should be charging it. Really? Does it not charge it? Hmm. If this thing goes dead, I'm so sorry. But I've got it plugged up. So I hope it doesn't go dead. We will see. Because it, it's showing that it will. If it does, I will come back on. Um, so someone you or someone that you already know, whichever... Things are about to change. Things, you know, are about to take a new um, level and go somewhere different if this is someone that you already know. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what else we can get. Dolly, can you open up that window over there? It's, yeah, it's rather warm. I've, uh, if, uh, hopefully the vehicle sound does not bother you. Um... But I'm hoping that that will start charging that battery. I can figure that out. Okay. Think you're gonna be alone today? Yeah. Hmm. It's already. Uh, what time you gotta go in there? Seven fifteen. Okay. Okay. Well, whenever you think you need to go. Okay. Let's see what we get. There's somebody. Okay. Okay. Now, it's funny. I just, okay. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you can't believe this crap. I'm sitting here, and I'm shuffling. You know, my daughter just seen me doing it. I cut the cards. Now, look. But, I want you to look. I did not put these cards together. I put them separately. Have fun, babe. Do you see this? They, they come out together. So that tells me that this goes along with what I was getting. Okay, there's something, there's something hidden. There's something that um, either you have something hidden or they have something hidden. There's something you don't know. I feel like there's something they're not telling you. And it's, it may have something to do with their past. If you know this person, maybe you are questioning, you know, um, Maybe you're questioning something about them because there is something that's hidden away. And it's funny how I put these in separate and I shuffled and they come out together. So that tells me this is going together. This is going right into where we were at. Um, let's see if we can... Okay. Can we know what they... What is hidden? What's hidden? Spirit. Oh, goodness. Okay, they throw one. It just went over here in the floor and we'll have to get it. Okay. What is hidden? <sighs> they got the trapped card. They got the nine of swords. They've got lots of burdens or something worrying them. There's something that makes them feel like they're trapped. They're stuck. Um, there's something that um, makes them feel like they can't white put it all out there put it all in 
Now what is it? What is it? Why do they feel stuck? Why do they feel stuck, Spirit? Why do they feel stuck? Why do they feel stuck, Spirit? Okay. Okay, why do they feel stuck? Okay. They feel stuck because it's like, okay, yes. In the past, they have dealt with faulty foundations where the foundations just, they weren't strong. They, they had no um, backbone. They had no structure. And what that's done, I feel like it's left them at this point where things don't look clear to them. Things feel unsure. They're not sure within themselves even. Um, so this is this is a feeling of unknowing, not knowing, uh, not understanding. So I also feel like this person, they may have at some point in time, they may have had children, or they may be did that children may have something to do with the why they feel trapped. We'll put it that way. Uh, because I asked about that and if you look this this lady is pregnant so it may have something to do with why they feel trapped why they feel um, that they can't just fully put themselves out there fully you know in, envelop themselves in this it's almost like they're scary it's almost like um, they just there's so much they don't understand or they don't believe because of what they've dealt with in the past. It's that type of feeling. Okay. Yeah. It had to do with um, a past relationship. Now, also... Um, I feel like it had to do with either a long relationship or a marriage where things seem to be going wonderful things seem to be abundant things seem to be one way when in all actuality the structure was not sound the foundation was faulty um, it's almost as if the person they were dealing with was wearing a disguise was making themselves blend into whatever they needed to blend into um, to to um, fool them. It's that type of feeling, um, and it's like you know they tried to make this work. They tried to um, have what they desired in the beginning. Um, you know this right here is actually the ace of um, swords but it's all about truth it's like this person they had to see the truth for themselves and it's affected them going forward in their life it's that type of feeling um, so it's it's a big deal for this person okay let's see what else we get okay who all do we have on here is everyone Aquarius's? I mean, who all do we have sign wise? Quickly. Is everyone Aquarius's? It shows that we have 17 people. So is everyone Aquarius's or do we have other signs watching? And please do give the thumbs ups. That really helps to grow the channel. Okay, Aquarius, Aquarius. So, we have Aquarius is watching. Okay. 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 Beauty by Brittany. But you're an Aquarius, correct? Okay. Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know? Spirit. What does Aquarius need to know? What does Aquarius need to know? Spirit for Aquarius. I'm getting spirit tingles. Aquarius, Aquarius. Yes. Okay. What you seek, what you're searching for. See, whatever you're searching for, 
it's like you gotta quit searching for it. It's like it's already there. It's, oh my God. This is like, you have to kind of become at one with what you have in order to have what you seek. Does that make sense? Um, because it's like you're, you're searching, you're looking, you know, you know what you want. Okay. I feel like that someone is actually, um, they're very, oh my God. See, it's like they're haunted by it. They, they know what they want so badly. And it's like it's in their mind constantly. Uh, now this could be this could be love this could be romantic love this could be abundance this could be um hang this could be you know whatever stability you name it um the thing is is you put in the work you do what you need to do okay we've got the full moon tonight and we're right here, you know, we're right, I've got the windows open, the air is coming in, I can feel the energy. Now this is a Pisces full moon, so for me that's a feeling of heaviness, that's a feeling of um, a lot of emotion. Now the thing is, is I feel like that uh, many of you, I know that you have released, um, if you have not, you need to do that, um, and doing so write down whatever you want to release and you know lots of times we'll write down what we want to release as far as people are concerned but we don't really want to release them so therefore we hang on to it now the thing is is i feel like that you really need to just let it go and um honestly it's like what you seek is going to come to you when you just stop does that make sense when you accept and put in your work on you, what you need to do, abundance, whatever, you know, if it's a job, um, work on yourself, but it's like just kind of just letting it be. I feel like also that you're getting messages possibly through your dreams. Now, I feel like tonight, um, you know, I went through the Piscean moon i think it was last year and oh my god it was so heavy it was either last year or the year before um you know I, I didn't even i didn't even go out i didn't even go outside i didn't do anything but because i was in my emotions so badly um and i feel like that that is a good way of healing though and a good way of um really taking a look at things so i feel like that whomever i'm talking to and this is an aquarius i asked for aquarius um it's it's going to be but you have to you can't force it um it's on god's timing you can't force it it's on divine's timing you know it can't be forced um this is something that it, it, when it happens it's going to happen but you have to put in the work on yourself okay <laughs> For one, you're keeping yourself trapped. You're keeping yourself stuck. But that that's not, that's, it's in here. It's like it's within you. Do you see? Take that from the top. Like I normally take from the bottom and then the top. Um, it's like you're keeping yourself stuck. And the way you're doing that is by, by so much desire, so much want. But, you know, it's not bad to want it. But it's almost like trying to force it or just honestly not trusting and not having enough faith. <laughs> some of you, you're wanting a new beginning. You're wanting the one, some of you. Others of you, I feel like, okay, for someone, I feel like they're wanting a home. Um, possibly wanting to get into a new home. And um, it feels like that could happen. Um, I'm seeing three. That could be within three days, three years, three weeks, um, three months, three holidays. It's just going to be different for different people. And the reason I, I mentioned holiday, holidays is because I've seen Christmas tree. I've seen um, a jack-o'-lantern. So, yeah. 
um, this is a feeling of, um, you know, if that's what you're wanting, it, it could be coming. Um, you just have to do the work. Don't get down on yourself. Don't get down and uh, do what you need to do for you. Um, also, you know, we have got the world out. Now, this world's a bit different. I will show you. Where's it at? I took too many. Okay, wait a minute. Okay, see here. Okay, with this with this world card, we have a birth. We have a new beginning. We have uh, something that is um, taking hold, taking root. Now, for someone, um, for someone, if you're wanting to have a, a child. Um, okay. Okay, for someone they've had trouble. Um, a key. Okay, with the full card, something's about to. A door's about to open. I don't know what kind of door. This could be a new doctor. This could be a. Um, someone carrying a child for you. Um, Okay, for some, this is, it's like you become fertile. Okay, someone, someone is using um, herbs. I'm seeing herbs. And they're also using calming because I'm seeing candles. Uh, could be using uh, some sort of candle magic for getting pregnant. Um, it's like someone could... Could act, they could be going to get pregnant. Uh, new beginning, new start, new birth. Um, but with the world card being here, something's ending, something's beginning. For those of you that um, you're watching this and you're going to really do what you need to do with this moon, it's like, you know, things are about to change for you. And that changes you, therefore, um, doors open. Things look differently. Someone's wanting love, though. They're wanting a new beginning. They're wanting um, someone to come back or someone to take that empty spot. It's going to be different for different people. Wanting the one. Aquarius wanting the one. Aquarius wanting the one. Aquarius. Okay, someone um, is wanting the wrong one. Okay. Someone has dealt with someone and they're kind of stuck on them. This is a player. This is someone that's not the right one. And that's something that's holding you back is that you really got to lay everything out on the table so that you see this clearly. You've got to let go of this desire for this person that's holding you back. So what, what I'm getting is, this takes me back to relinquish control, be happy with what you have, and know that what you desire is coming. But know that it's, it's the right one, not who you feel like is the right one. Because someone's clinging onto someone that they're not the right one. And um, that's keeping someone stuck. You know, it's time to see that okay you know if this is the right one they'll come if it's not you want the one for you so i don't know that's heavy though that's a heavy reading and i had some cards fall over here and i had to get them i need to, to make sure that i got them all okay yes i did let's see okay um so yeah, now if you have not released and you're wanting to release, now is an awesome time to do it. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. You can strengthen, now this is my opinion, so you know, I'm telling you from my own experience and my own opinions. Um, the full moon helps to make me feel like a stronger person. It helps me to feel, um, 
especially when I do releases and whenever I um, ask for my desires and then I, I love to just get out and under the moon and just take it in you know um, you can sway you can dance you know me and my uh, youngest daughter we we sometimes go out and uh, we actually dance you know um, the energy of the moon and just it's like it just is so free and it um, it helps you to feel better and it helps you to feel um, oh my god I don't even know how to explain it to you but and then too if you are you know just dancing and swaying and having fun and uh, you're putting yourself in this um, mindset of um, it's like you, you feel that sense of freedom and you feel that everything is okay that everything you wanted to let go of you did and everything that you desire it is coming because you know the divine the angels God has heard you and knowing that it's coming so in my opinion getting out under the, the full moon well, I'll be honest with you, getting out under the moon at all in the stars is just, oh my goodness. But, you know, I like to get out there and um, just feel it. I mean, I can feel it now. I can feel the energy and it's just, it feels awesome. And it's very cloudy here, so I'm probably not going to possibly be able to see the moon, but that's okay. You don't have to. Um, you know, and... Um, do your releases okay have we still just got Aquariuses here hello um so still Aquariuses do we have anyone different and we've got 2112 up there um well I did do some for Aquarius and I've done some just reading so but you can go back and rewatch that um, and please do give thumbs up that that helps the channel um, It helps the channel to grow and it helps you know as the channel grows that helps the readings to get out there and everything to get seen oh my goodness I am still on the search for um, it's an older deck of cards and um, I don't know it's just the feeling is heavy that they are <laughs> they are coming or or I'm going to find them. Um, I don't, you know, all I know about this deck is that they are not very wide, but they're long. And I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm feeling 60s or 70s or something or another. But oh my goodness, uh, my son is helping me look, and we went to some of the um, like um, antique places and such, but. Around here, you know, it's not very common, so. But I know that they're coming, I just, yeah, I could feel it. Uh, let's see. I have got the miniature good tarot deck. So, hello, 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 hello. Okay. Oh, you, I know the energy, and it can, it can. Uh, this Piscean moon can be very, very harsh. I'm just be honest with you. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know. It's easier on me this time. And um, I'm an Aquarius sun sign. Uh, I've got a lot of Aquarius in me. I've got a lot of Sagittarius. But that makes it, you know, I'm bad to, to tr get in my head as well. I have to watch that. Um, okay, they threw one. <laughs> okay you know we're always talking about the emotions and the Piscean uh, moon and emotions we got the Queen of Water that's the Queen of Cups come out but I want you to look at that card that's someone that is controlling their emotions so um, you know and that can, that sometimes that's hard to do sometimes it's very hard to do um, this is a feeling like uh, not only controlling them, but actually taking a look at feeling an emotion as it comes through 
looking at it and um, it's kind of like I, I want to be honest you know um, even if you get around someone and you're feeling their emotions you know that's oh my goodness that's a big thing you know I, I've been trying to help someone that's younger about that because um, they tend to cry a lot and such because they will be around someone or speaking to some, a friend and the friend will have something going on and next thing I know, you know, it affects them. And I'm trying to help them to realize um, this is a water sign. So, you know, um, that it's not always their emotions. Feel it. You know, if it's not your emotion, you know, just question is this me and if it's not you know realize that it's not you and and it's hard to do that but I'm trying to help help them so yeah um, but this is what this is about it's about emotions and it's about really um, con learning to control them and I feel like this moon here this moon like you said it's gonna mess with a lot of people's world it is I mean it's got that feeling, but you know, we're moving right into, um, I think it's, oh my God, I think Libra or Leo or such. I'm not sure. So don't hold me to it. Um, okay. Okay. What else? What else? I wanted to bring the, um, heart tarot. Because I feel like there was going to be somebody on tonight that's, um, like on the twin flame, you know. Okay. <laughs> okay. Queen of Swords. Do you see that? Do you see that? Now, what I'm getting is, this is having it together. This is embracing and um, feeling at one with oneself, feeling at peace with oneself. You know, I wanted to bring this good tarot deck because I feel like that um, once we embrace and and we realize that, you know, we need to, the, feeling the emotions, that, that's okay. You know, that can be very healing. Um, but it's when we stay in our head and we hold on to them, we just stay stuck. That's when it's not healing to us. But I feel like for for many of you, you see this bird. I feel like that um, you're getting um, help from a higher source, and um, that's going to help to move you forward. This moon, I feel like it's going to be very beneficial. It's going to be beneficial in the way of being able to learn to embrace the emotions, embrace. What needs to be embraced and balance it that's what it feels like okay I hear geese we got the call so you know what are you being called to do you know do you know what your life purpose is do you know what um, you know Okay, someone's actually going to get a call. Yes, someone's going to get a call. They are. So, but on the other, you know, the other aspect of it is this is about what are you here for? What, what, you know, and that can be different for different people. Uh, for some, you know, is to help other people be able to go forward in some way. Um, for some, it's um, being a, a, a mentor to children or a mother or a father, um, husband or a wife, you know, um, a grandparent or such. It's going to be different for different people. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and I hear those birds. I don't know if y'all can hear them or not, but they, they sound awesome. But you know, with this call being here, and right next to it, we have the Ten of Air, which is the Ten of Swords. You know, it's normally about being in our head. 
But I want you to look at this. I feel like this is learning to master, learning to deal with what's in our head. You know, learning to um, see it for what it is and move it out of our head, not have to leave it there, not have to see it and, and be in this place of uh, turmoil anymore. It's that type of feeling. That's awesome. But you know, this is also being guided. You see the feathers, the feathers are coming from heaven. And it's almost like uh, the feathers are here to say, you know, can you handle this? And she's blowing them away. You know, she's not um, allowing herself to let the feathers really touch her. She's not allowing herself to get in her head. She's not allowing her. And it doesn't have to be a she. I'm just going with what I'm seeing. But allowing herself to um, let things really touch her and take control of her so that's a beautiful thing this this moon it feels like can be a lot of growth from from this moon and a lot of um sense of freedom now um i know a lot of people's been waiting a long time you know for what they want you got okay but i want to tell you um Waiting for what you want is one thing, but waiting in peace for what you want, having faith that you're going to have what you want, that's a totally different thing. So, you know, when when do you start having faith and knowing, you know, um, or do you stay in that place of, um, you know, sometimes, it, oh man, like some people, they'll 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 have the faith and they'll 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 be in that moment and then it's like they'll just drop off just quickly, you know, and um, then they have to pick it back up. Okay, okay. Love related, please, spirit. Love related. Wrong deck. Okay, let me get the other deck out. I did bring another one. I brought a third deck. So, yeah. Um, get it out. I brought this one. Okay. someone invested in something it feels like that um someone uh, something that someone invested in is about to show some change in a good way not not in a, a negative way See there? Okay, this is what I'm trying to tell people. Okay, you see this is a card of sowing the seed. I hope you can see it. See there? You're putting out there what you want. Okay, you make it clear. You know, you tell God what you want. Okay, do you keep telling or do you have faith that what you want is coming? You do the work. You do what you need to do. Um, you get ready. You know, for some of you, I feel like there's some um, clearing out something. Clearing out. You know, clearing out. That could be um, within a home. That could be within your own self. Um, someone actually needs to actually, goodness, someone needs to do some um, cleaning. And they need to move some stuff out. They, they've they have accumulated too much. This is someone that wants someone in their life. They've accumulated too much. Um, okay. But this is about setting that intention, putting it out there. Okay. What do you do? Do you keep do you keep on? Put. Set the intention. Sow the seed. Put it out there. 
Lay it down. Allow. Allow. No. You know, know that it's what you want is coming. Know it. Um, you know, if you keep asking, if you keep um, repeating, or if you keep um, bringing it up or such, it's, it's not allowing. That's not um, having the faith that you need and just saying, okay, 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 divine, okay, angels, okay, God, I give it to you. You know, you know what I want. I've asked you, I give it to you. And now I'm just I'm just going to know within me that it is coming. That what I want is coming. So you see what I'm saying? That's setting that intention and knowing. Just laying down that burden and and knowing. That's beautiful. That is, that's beautiful. Okay. Let's see. And that I was asking about love, so um, some of them may have, they may be wanting their, wanting a love interest. Some are definitely going to have to do some moving around stuff. Um, well, don't get in your head, but, um, yeah, you know, being, especially being single for a while, we can accumulate, you know, we can accumulate. We get used to being alone, so maybe we, we, we just start you know collecting stuff or bringing in stuff or such and then you know you're asking for someone and then you're bringing them into what you know what I'm saying it is like um, if you don't have the space or the room or are you gonna have time you know have you have you nailed yourself down so much on like hobbies or um, oh my goodness okay now, if it's something that, you know, is making you money or helping you to help other people, that's a different story. It's like um, containing stuff. Okay. Well, like, for instance, um, you know, I have a reading room that also contains my um, product making material, you know. Um, someday I want to have a larger home to where I have two rooms for that you know a room um, specifically for doing my soaps and my creams or whatever candles or such and then a reading room but now you know I have it contained within that room um, for the most of the part yeah so it's kind of like that it's kind of like um, containing what is needed but what is not needed kind of uh, letting go of some stuff because you want to have time you want to have room for the other person because you know they're going to come um yeah see people don't usually don't think about how someone when they, if they come into your life and if um if they come to live with you or something if they if you get married and they live in your home they have their stuff as well so it's you know and especially you know it's not for when you get older or you're up in age and you know things have ended in your life and you know you you it's not like when you're younger and you're just starting out and you, you get together and you get one home and you do this you know it's totally different it's like um, this person may have theirs and this person may have theirs and then you know there's the blending and the trying to figure it out and yeah <laughs> So, it's like someone, um, you know, stay out of your head. Don't get in your head about it. Just do what you need to do, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Can we know more about a love relation? A love relation? Ah, uh, they threw us some. Wait a minute. They actually flipped them. But let's see what we got here. Okay. Is it too dark? Hopefully not. We got the Empress. And we got the Wheel of Fortune and we got the Chariot. You see what I'm saying? When you take control and you know your worth and your value and you allow, things are going to change for you. Things are going to change 
you know, you start moving things. You start bringing things forth as that empress energy. And you don't have to be a female. Um, it's the energy, I feel like. Um, things start changing. Things start growing. Things start really, you'll start to notice it. But you have to, you have to release control. Give up control. You know, and I know so many people are like, yeah, but it's hard to have faith because I don't see. Feel. Learn to feel and you won't need to see. You see what I'm saying? Um, I hope so. I really hope that you see what I'm saying because it's like once you feel, you're going to know. Then we have here the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is about luck on your side. Things are about to change. Things are about to turn around. So if you've been having bad luck or if you've been having some, um, you know, poor things happening in your life, get ready for some change. It's about to change. Then we've got the Chariot. The Chariot, you know, it's like um, being next to the Wheel of Fortune. It's like things are about to start moving in your favor. You know, because the Wheel of Fortune is about fortune, it's about luck, it's about good luck, it's about things coming to fruition, things happening. Um, the cherry is, you know, can be about sitting still, but it feels like next to the Wheel of Fortune, it's about moving forward with luck being on your side, things changing. Okay, let's see. Where he is. Aquarius. Do we have any other signs with us? Or are we still all Aquarius? Are we still all Aquarians? Do we have any other signs? Now, I'm sorry it's getting dark in here. I don't know if that'll help or not. Maybe. Okay. Let's see. What do we need to know? Whoa. Okay, I don't want to. I don't want them to throw all the deck out in this car. It's gonna be hard, um, especially with the, this dark. Okay, what have we got here? Aries sun. Okay, we've got an Aries. Okay, let's let's do a little read for Aries then. And um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Um, Sometimes it don't even pay to go by your sign because I'm going to tell you, you go by what you feel. If you feel like a reading's for you, watch it. There's usually going to be something in there that's for you. Um, just saying. Ask for guidance. I've seen other sign readings and I'd be like, you know, it's not my sun sign, but boy, I feel it. You know, and it's, that's the way it works, you know. Okay, Aries. What does Aries need to know? Aries. Or Aries. May I have a card for Aries, please? What does Aries need to know? Spirit. Aries read. Whoop. Okay. Aries. Now, the thing is, is they flip these cards. They flip them plumb around. Okay. Somebody's dealing with someone who is um, not in a good light. The Empress reversed is not in a good light. It's a, a feeling like someone that wants to rule everything. They want to be in charge. They're right. You're wrong. Um, you can't win for losing with this person. It's like they're going to be... I mean, it's almost a feeling like a um, tyrant or a, um, a bad leader. You know, someone trying to lead a home that they can't clearly lead. They're in a bad place. So, Aries, I don't know whether you're dealing with someone like this, but it's, we got the six of, uh, six of Wands next to it, and it's reversed, too. They both come out reversed. There's not going to be a victory with this person. Whoever this is that you're dealing with, there's no victory with them. There's no victory in sight. Uh, they're not going to let it be. They, they're, they're kind of, oh, my goodness. They've got a, there's not a good energy there. On the bottom, we've got the devil card. Um, this person may be involved in something that, um, I'm going to be honest with you, this is something that could be um, illegal. 
or something that uh, you don't agree with or you will not agree with. Uh, that's what it feels like. Um, they may have beliefs that you don't believe. They're not the same. It's like you're totally different. You're not on the same page. And that's going to cause a rift. That's going to cause a problem um, in this relationship, whatever this is. Um, you know, you're going to feel it, that there's a problem. If you're dealing with a person like this, um, you know, you're going to feel that rift. You're going to feel that there's a problem. And the best thing that you can do is, um, oh my goodness, honestly, it don't feel like you, anything you're going to say is going to change them. Um, I feel like just give it, to, give it to a higher power because this person, they have got an energy that is like, they're right, you're wrong. There ain't going to be no different. They're, they're um, going to lead things the way they want to. They're going to do things the way they want to. And you can like it or lump it. That's their type of energy. So I don't know who you're dealing with. Um, if this is you dealing with someone, this is... It's not a good energy. I'll go ahead and tell you that. Um, whoever it is, they, they've they got this... Um, whew, not a good energy at all. Okay, who, who all do we still have? Okay, it says we've got nine watching. Okay, feels like someone's going to get some communication. Um, because I just seen the nine of wands. Someone's going to be getting some communication. It's going to come in, um, it feels like rather quickly. It's going to take someone by surprise. Uh, they may not exactly expect it. Um, okay, what is this communication about, Spirit? What is this communication about? May we please know? Okay, this is, um, it's something that's going to fire you up. Now, I can't tell you if it's in a good way or a bad way. But all that red in that card. How is it going to fire them up? Is this a good way or a bad way? Spirit, may we know. Okay. Okay, what I'm seeing is, for some of you, this is something that's going to hurt you. Um, this is because uh, I'm seeing the Three of Swords. For some of you, this is something that's going to fire you up, but it's going to hurt you at the same time. It's not going to feel good at all. Um, and you're going to be surprised by it because it's like you sown this seed with someone, and it's like things are moving along, and then all of a sudden it's like, bam, out of nowhere. Um, they hit you up with a message or they call you or they talk to you or something and it's like whatever it is they tell you hurts you. Um, I'm seeing stones actually. I'm actually seeing like rocks being thrown. So they may start throwing stones towards you and words. Um, they may um, actually start um, I feel okay. Some may, someone may get belittled as well because I just seen the word belittle. Um, that's not going to be for all of you. It's going to be different for different people because I'm also seeing that for some of you, um, this news is going to be something that, um, yes, the Six of Wands. It makes you feel like um, you're having some sort of victory. Um, now, does this mean a, a victory of winning a lottery or such? It could be. Um, doesn't have to be, though, but it could be. Um, it's not necessarily, this is not necessarily love-related or romance-related, but it could be. Um, this is a feeling like something's, there's a glimmer of hope. I'm seeing, um, okay. I'm seeing a, a candle that's um, got a flame. So it's like there's a, um, a glimmer of light. Do you see what I'm saying? So for someone, 
whatever this news is, it's like it sparks this this um, opening. This it's almost like a door starts to open. Now I'm getting that you should not. You sh okay? Yes. You should not just grab the door open and just run through. No. Um, this is just the beginning. This is just a small portion. You need to keep doing whatever you're doing. Okay. Someone has, um, okay. Okay. See, it's coming to me without the card. Okay. Someone or some of you, you put yourself out there. You know what you want. You know, there's someone that they, you really like them or they may have been someone that you were involved with at some point in time for some of you but for some of you this is someone you you put yourself out there you put it out there um they it's almost like they showed little little energy towards you maybe they're involved with someone else or maybe they're um for some this is someone from the past and they're it's like this is something that had them kind of torn. They don't, yeah. Um, what's happening is I feel like you were putting in all the effort, or whatever this is, whether this is the past or someone new, you were putting in all the effort. You were doing all of the messaging or such, and you were getting a bit wild with it, possibly. I feel like because I'm <laughs> seeing all in all in one's head, um, you know texting them they don't text back oh my god what's going on uh, someone's deleting text as well um, and it's like them feeling like oh my goodness why did I do that or such okay what's happened is I feel like you've stopped I feel like you finally got control of that and you quit you just quit and it's like this person it's almost like something is awakening in them, and it may have to do with this moon. Um, it, excuse me. If this is someone from the past, someone that you had something very strong with, they're awakening to what was as far as love, not what happened. Um, now, if this is someone that is new, it's like uh, they may be awakening to the connection, seeing it differently. We're seeing it for what it can be. This, though, is a bit of, okay, you stopped. You pulled back. You stopped. And now, it sparked something with them. So, it's like they reach out with just very little, you know. And for some of you, you're going to be like, oh, yes. And then you're going to be like, oh, I got to message them. No, you go slow. You know, if they message you and such, be slow. Don't rip the door open because that could, um, I'll be honest with you, for some of you, it could push them away. For some of you, it could scare the hell out of them. Um, it's going to be different for different people. For some, you know, it makes you seem too, um, too in a hurry, you know. Um, I feel like, go slow, you know. They want to talk, that's fine. Talk, whatever. Um, also, whoever is posting constantly on uh, social media, constant, 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 and hoping that they'll see, you need to pull it back. Pull it back. Just, just pull it back. Don't post so constant. And, hey, they're going, it's going to be noticed the change you know if this person uh if they have feelings for you or they were serious for you they're not going to want you to get away i mean it's that type of feeling so yeah i don't know who who all that's for but that is i mean really yeah so how many we got watching since we got 17 watching and 18 thumbs up thank y'all for the thumbs up um you know the the thumbs up helps the shares help um you know, telling people about the readings, um, that helps. It all helps. Thank you so much. Um, okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, 
Okay, I'm seeing the Three of Cups. Okay, there's something that's, um, someone's pondering going and doing something. Someone's pondering something. This could have to do with Halloween. Because I'm seeing, I'm actually seeing Dracula. <laughs> I'm seeing a Dracula. Um, um, I feel like that. You could have a lot of fun with that. Whatever it is. But, okay. I'm seeing a drink. Um, if you're out, if you're not with people you trust, don't leave your drink unattended. Um, no, don't. Because now I'm seeing a red X, which is telling me kind of like, you know, danger. Um, but you could have a lot of fun, but you need to be very uh, careful. This is like at uh, some sort of um, bar or something. There's lots of lights. It's like um, strobe, strobe lights or such. Um, lights, lights, lights. And um, if you order a drink, keep it in your hand. Don't, um, don't set it down. Don't go to the bathroom. Don't. Um, you know, watch the bartender make your drink, um, or order a drink that you can open that's not been opened. It's very important that there's something, um, but I do feel like that you can have a lot of fun. You just need to be very careful. Okay. Huh. I don't know why they're showing me, um, and I don't even know if this is for any of you or not, but um, someone that's got someone, they're debating between a French maid outfit and what looks to me to like be some sort of little like witchy type black, um, it's like a little dress type thing um, with like a, the corset look at the top and kind of... Um, with the hat, um, and it's almost like they're trying to figure out if which their person would like the best. Okay, and now I'm seeing French maid. Um, this has got a lot of ruffles, so there's something about ruffles. Um, it's some sort of type of French maid outfit that has a lot of like Kremlin or such underneath the little skirting of it. And I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if this is uh, what I'm seeing is for like a party at Halloween or if this is just someone that is um, trying to figure out a um, outfit to wear for their person. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm seeing a thumbs up. Okay, there you go. So, um, this it could be someone that's getting married or something around Halloween and they're trying to figure out what to wear for the person. Oh my goodness. Um, whichever, um, uh, okay, there is a garter, um, get what's got the garter. Okay. So I don't know who that's for. Yeah. Okay. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. That has a feeling of um, young love, but it doesn't have to be young in that way. That sense of age, it can be, it's just a feeling of newness, newness and young love. Okay. We have some more cards. For our viewers, please spare it. For the viewers, may I have some more cards? Okay. Okay, we got the hermit. Okay. Someone is wanting to heal a relationship. We got the lovers next to it. They're wanting to heal a relationship with the hermit. Um, they've been really working on themselves. Um, this is a relationship where it feels like both people got hurt really badly. They, I mean, it, it's like they hurt one another. Yeah. 
there's the three of swords they they hurt each other and it's like um there's a sense of wanting to heal this wanting to um oh, bring out the truth about it where both people can heal from this they can um see it for what it is um do the healing and get past it there's a sense of newness coming there's a sense of newness coming and yes I am um, among much more. I, I honestly don't have a name for it all, so I just, yeah. There's a sense of newness, and but it could be with something that is old. It doesn't have to be old, but two people have hurt one another. Okay. Someone's taking on um, the Queen of Cups energy, and there's an Emperor. Now, we've got the Ten of Cups here. So this tells me that whatever this is between these two people, where they hurt one another, this can go into being a beautiful beginning. We've we got the Ace of Pentacles. Um, these people have love for one another. Um, but they have to, the thing is, is um, it's like they have to move past. They gotta move past what was toxic. Oh my God, these people have got passion for one another is yeah is strong I can feel it um oh my goodness ah I'm seeing rose petals so there the passion is just out of this world now the thing about it is that um, this can be healed but it's gonna take patience you know the truth comes out I, I feel like there's more people involved. I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like there's more pe people involved. Um, and it could be um, that there's children involved. It could be that there's other family members that's involved. And um, because, I, oh, yeah, I'm getting the card. Um, someone's hearing a lot of chatter. They're hearing a lot of um, from other people. Um, it's like being a little bird in their ear and um, so this is something that takes time and I'm also getting for whoever this is for um, where something happens people got hurt you know um, but you know that this is your person whoever I'm talking to you know it you feel it you've always felt it you know there may have been a point where you didn't feel it, but you know it. Um, I feel like that you need to just pull back and do you. Just do you right now. And that's going to uh, help things to move forward with this person. Okay. Now, let's move. Let's move to something else. What else do we need to know, Spirit? What else? What else? What else do we need to know? Okay, see, I'm seeing the Nine of Pentacles. Um, right now, it's very important. Um, well, it's important in general to know your worth and your value. And to um, thank you so much. Um, I've tried to help people as best I can. Um, I give the message that I get. Um, sometimes it's hard to know what you're worth. It's hard to know your value. But that's something that I feel like that uh, we're seeing that Nine of Pentacles. That's something that is very important right now. As uh, not losing sight of you. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to be going through some emotions. You may not be right now. It may hit you tomorrow. Um, don't lose sight of you during that time and and you know placing blame is not going to help so whether you're blaming yourself or blaming the other person it's not going to help um, 
be in tune as well. Like I said earlier, feel. It's not always about seeing. Sometimes it's about feeling. Um, that's, that's big for someone. Okay. Judgment and Temperance. Um, Ten of Cups. Okay. Knight of Cups. Tower moment. Ace of Wands. Having the strength to get through something. Six of Wands. Victory. Okay. We got Judgment here and we got Temperance right next to it. Okay. You went through a lot. Or you're going through a lot. Some people are going through it now. And it's very hard, it feels like, for them to um, keep things flowing. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm so drawn to the horn. You're being guided, whether it's through messages that I tell you, messages someone else tells you. Um, maybe you're seeing numbers. Look those numbers up. You you going down the road, you look down at the clock, 11, 11. Look it up. Um, you know, you look at a tag. Uh, me and my son, we, we see numbers. And there's reasons. You know, um, look up the spiritual number, spiritual meaning, uh, angel number. You, there's different ways of phrasing it um, to get different messages. Um, because it, I'm telling you. And then maybe I feel like someone's seeing feathers. Um, and that those have meaning. Different colors of feathers have different meaning. Um, okay, there's something here about spiders. I don't know if someone's dreaming about spiders. Um, okay. I'm going to a, um, I'm actually, okay, I read a poem. You know the the webs we the webs we weave, um, something of that nature. Um, I feel like this is about someone not seeing things as it is, but weaving it into more than it is. So you need to lay everything out on the table. I'm seeing that uh, the wheel card. Lay it all out on the table and look at it. Hangman, take a look. Take a step back and look at things differently. Because you're, you're putting more into it than it is. And that's putting you in your head. That's causing you to have worry that you don't need to have. Worry. What does worry do? Worry can cause you to, have, to be sick. It can cause, I think it can cause um, health problems. You know, and not to mention that worry can cause depression and, you know, um, anxiety and stuff you don't want. You know, you want to, um, I feel like, take control of that. Yeah. So, you're being guided. Reach out to see whatever you're being guided. If you can't figure it out, ask the angels. Ask God for a clear sign. Um, you know, you can ask for a, a specific sign, or you can ask to be shown in your dreams or uh, such. Okay. Temperance, you know, you really taking, um, I feel like this is about, honestly, well, for one, being guided and you following what you're being guided, but also taking control of your own life and being able to balance through the, okay, look at the, look at the flames that she holds. Do you see what, do you see that? Do you see the, the, the flames, the fire? Okay. If you got turmoil in your life, this is a feeling like being able to really balance through that. Being able to um, get through that. You see what I'm saying? Balancing your own life is going to make the biggest difference. Okay. Ten of Cups. Love yourself. If you have other people in your life, don't forget about them. You know, be grateful for what you have. Um, embrace the love you have in your life. Embrace... Um, those that that love you even when you're wanting um, more or you're wanting someone else to come into your life 
don't forget what you have and embrace and um, you know really be grateful you know when, when we manifest we need to be grateful in order to bring in what we want that's the way I feel it um, Knight of Cups you know and then we get the tower so where have you been giving your cups to you know what I'm saying um, you need to really look at things I feel like um, I've been saying you need to reassess things look at things differently because you've had some tower moments things have got turned around but it needed to so that you can see what you need to see and you can learn what you need to learn and you can stop what needs to be stopped you know we got the ace of wands here but this is about having the strength to master what you need to master do you see within the hand be able to take control of the situation and make it into what it needs to be in um doing the work that you need to do you know that brings forward the victory seeing with you see we have the high priestess being able to see what you need to see does that mean seeing it with your eyes not always like i said it could be feeling it um you could you could be someone who is um a seer that sees you know um what others don't see or um a, someone who feels what others don't feel but you know oh my goodness this is really it's like you get a look behind the veil you get a look beyond um this can be different ways for different people some this is about romance some it's not some this is about um oh wanting to know what their path is or wanting to be able to go forward on their path or wanting um to be able to help others you know whether that be you know is opening up a spiritual business or um it's gonna be different for so many people it's, it's an amazing feeling though because it's like it's right on the verge oh my goodness that's an awesome feeling uh, now for those of you that you know this is about um, a love relation um, it's like okay okay they're see they're going to show a different this is yeah this might may be for the same people it may not this could be for someone else looks like i'm i seem to be cutting out or something there okay love as far as a love relation okay if you're guarding your heart too much you need to put down the guard a little bit because um it's like you know what you want you know what you want don't jump into anything you don't want um you know you don't have to but you okay someone's got a fragile heart and it, it's got to do with, you know, they feel like they've made choices in the past. They've jumped into relationships and it's got them nowhere. That's what this stems from. Okay, don't jump into relationships. You don't have to. All you got to do is have faith. All you got to do is know. But you need to take the uh, initiative to um, put in the work as far as your heart is concerned. As far as... Um, healing what needs to be healed um, um, clearing what needs to be cleared um, doing the work on you as far as being able because when this comes oh my goodness this has got such a strong this is going to be um, such a newness okay someone is they were in this mindset of nothing ever wor works out for them nothing ever they're always abandoned no one ever loves them no one's ever loved them no one stayed okay that's what's holding them back that's what's holding you back if you're that person um look at what you have now do you stay with yourself do you love yourself do you take care of yourself you have to see things from a different point of view and you'll bring in what you want now i'm gonna tell you like I said, work on that heart. Okay. There's going to be some form of communication at some point in time. Now, that depends on you, what it feels like. Uh, mindset and really what you do within you. 
Okay. Now what we have here is we've got the Eight of Cups. Okay. If you're dwelling on the past, turn your butt around and stop dwelling on it. Do you see that? Turn your butt around and stop dwelling on it. Put it behind you. Um, just let it be. If, if it's someone from the past that's supposed to come back to you, let them come back. Don't, don't try to force it. Uh -uh. Um, turn your butt around. You know. Um, it's like you're going to start moving forward. You're going to start moving forward. Um, towards the relationship that you want. But you can't force nothing. It's like when you try to force something, you're going to ruin it all. You got to do you. See, there's our nine of pentacles. Look at there. What did I tell you? Do you have you and have no doubts that, oh my God, what I want is coming. Oh, there's a mosquito going to get me. What I want is coming and I know it. I feel it. And, you know, don't, you know, just say it. You got to feel it. Go on, go on, go on. You got to feel it. That's a beautiful card. I want you to look at that. And the one next to it really just takes the cake. Oh, my goodness. Do you see that? That's the wheel of fortune. Things are going to change once you hit that spot. But you've got to put in the work. That's the thing. You've got to put in the work. You've got to do everything. And you may say, but Spring, I put in the work. I've been doing this for, oh my God. And there's the thing though. If you have to say that, then you must be doubting something. Do you see what I'm saying? Um, because you shouldn't have to say it. It shouldn't feel like, oh my God, you just got to know it. You got to know. And see, it's showing you as these nights, but it's showing me what, as you go forward you see what i'm saying putting in the work with the knight of pentacles you know um putting in the work and then you know things grow and go forward I'm going to have to get off of here now, but I appreciate each and every one of you, and much light and love to you, and uh, till next time, bye.